do. It's me. Dexter. This was actually a surprise because I got the email saying it shipped 30 minutes before I got the email that had been delivered. So, I don't know what was over that, but I'm not complaining. This is the January box. The first box of a new year. That's exciting. And the theme was from Olympus with Love. I kept wanting to say Lore Olympus, which is not not correct. I'm very excited about this one because I mean, who didn't have a Greek mythology phase? Yes. First of all, we have an amazing card and has Medusa on it. Or not Medusa. Well, I mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. They did include a new tapestry! I was really hoping there would be a tapestry to put the pins on. Oh, it's broken. Hold on. Well, it's not broken, it's just... Anyway, I was hoping they would do a, uh, another tapestry to put your pins on, and they did! Let's look at some lovely gold... leaves. Riddle's Tea Shop Nectar of the Gods. Decaf. Sail... I don't know how to pronounce the kind of tea. Sail and tea. Rubo... 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 Peach. Marigold. Apple. Vanilla. Caramel, apricots, gluten free, nut, and dairy free. A decaf tea. Probably gonna make a mess, but I wanna open it and smell it. Ooh, ooh. The apple is very strong. It's very crisp and wintry. Or it smells like apple cider. It smells specifically like apple cider you would get um, when you go to like a, a farm in fall to do like the hay, the corn. Mazes. That kind of apple cider, specifically. Alright, we got our pin. The eyes of the gods are upon you. It sounds like a threat. I think that's also Medusa on there. Oh, you can't really see that. There you go. What is this? Oh. Oh. It's like a moon, phases of the moon calendar thing. For the year. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 2021. It's got the months on this side. And the phases of the moon. That's neat. Got a cool bookmark. Ooh. I would know him in death at the end of the world. There are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as, as stars once a year brush the earth. Such a constellation was he to me. That's nice. Hermes letterboard. That sounds... I just glimpsed what the book is and I'm very excited, but I'm gonna try and pretend like I didn't see it. So it's one of those things you see on fucking Pinterest all the time, where it's just a black board that you can hang. There's all these letters, so you can make your own sign. Hold on, we're gonna make a sign really quick. It's gonna be really pretty. Oh, and it also came with a handy little bag to uh, keep all your letters in. A huge part of me wants to break all of these off and just put them in a bag, because it'll take up way less space and leave them like this. But also there's a part of me that has extreme wrist and hand pain and it hurts. Four letter word. It's it shouldn't it shouldn't be this difficult, but it is. You know the, the box says it's Hermes, but there's nothing about this board that has Hermes that really makes it Hermes. It's just a normal board. It's just a box that has like Hermes stuff on it. And we're done. I actually am excited about this. This is pretty neat. Oh, and here's the bag to put all the pieces in. I guess that I guess this is the Hermes part. Is Hermes on the bag, not on the actual board? But, you know, whatever. Now I can be excited about the book. It's very rare that I actually recognize a book that's in an owl crate because I'm so behind on everything and I am not up to date at all. Especially because a lot of times owl crate uh, picks relatively newer authors so I, since I'm out of touch, I don't know anything about new authors. Alexander Bracken, who's one of my favorite authors. I can't hold this. this I fucked my hand up doing that stupid board. So Alexander Bracken is one of my favorite authors. Uh, Briley Woven. I think that was her first novel. It's one of my favorite books of all time. She also did Darkest Minds, which I haven't read all of those books in that series yet. I think I've only read the first one, actually. But those are really good, too. But this is her most recent book, anyway. I said all that because she's one of the few authors that I like to follow on various social medias. So I've seen I've seen her post a lot about this book, so I'm very excited that this is in here. You may deny the fates, but they will not deny you. Fighting them will not save you from what is ahead. Ooh, that's nice. There's a map on the inside of the book. Every seven years, the Aegon begins. As punishment for past rebellion, nine Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. Long ago, Lord Perseus fled that brutal world, turning her back on the hunt's promises of eternal glory after her family was murdered by a rival line. 
For years, she's pushed away any thought of revenge against the man, now a god, responsible for their deaths. Yet as the next hunt draw dawns over New York City, the two participants seek her out. Castor, a childhood friend Lore believed to be dead, and Athena, one of the last of the original gods, now gravely wounded. The goddess offers Lore an alliance against their mutual enemy, and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt, binding her fate to Athena's, will come at a deadly cost, and it may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to bring humanity to its knees. Ooh, I like the inside. White with gold. Very nice. So behind on Owlcrate books, so I kind of wanted to read this book right away, but I'm still reading Owlcrate books from like 2018. And I, and uh, for some dumb reason, I have to read them in the order I got them. That's just how it has to be done. Like, if you look at my wall, I'm not even, did, like, halfway. But I am reading a lot more these days than I have been the past, like, five years. Pamphlet, we're gonna read a minute. And next month's theme. Magic Unleashed. Every box will include a book tin. Designed by Forensics and Flowers. What is a book tin? Here's the card. I feel like Magic Unleashed is kind of vague, so you just kind of do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna this with love. Spoiler warning. Whether you use it as a visual reminder of your New Year's resolutions or as a fun hashtag bookstagram photo pop prop, Team Owlcrate hopes that you enjoy this Hermes felt letterboard kit, which includes a zippered pouch for letter storage featuring the messenger of the gods himself. Eden Cook included two of our favorite Olympians when designing this gorgeous lunar calendar tapestry. Now you can follow the moon's phases with Artemis, goddess of the moon, and Athena, goddess of wisdom, whose penchant for owls is something we can totally understand. <laughs> Funny joke. Keep your growing enamel pin collection organized and displayed with this olive branches pin banner designed by Michelle Gray. Who could resist brewing up a bit of ambrosia? We hope that you enjoy this nectar of the gods loose leaf tea created by Riddle's Tea Shop. Bestowal of immortality is not guaranteed. This double-sided wooden book- is it wooden? I mean, I guess all paper is wood, in a way. A double-sided wooden bookmark designed by In the Reeds was inspired by Madeline Miller's two beloved Greek mythology retellings, The Song of Achilles and Circe. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. In lore, we visit a brutal world where Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals and face the bloodthirsty descendants of ancient bloodlines. Whether you're a total myth nerd or a myth newbie, we think you'll enjoy this sweepingly ambitious tale of destiny, love, and redemption. Our signed special edition of lore comes with an exclusive cover, as well as an author letter from Alexandra Bracken, just for Owl Creek subscribers. Icy Designs crafted this stunning Medusa shield enamel pin to honor our favorite Gorgon and the important shield referenced in lore. Uh oh, Palmer's pooping. That means it's gonna be real loud. Discover your Omeric epithet. Uh, birth month, June. That means I'm rosy cheeked. And the first initial, D, the honorable. Oh, rosy cheeked Dexter, the honorable. That's not that great. I don't like that. From Olympus with Love, a playlist full of songs inspired by Greek mythology curated for lovers of legends and lore. That sounds awesome. Time to look up some stuff. We don't like, do we actually have to look up anything? Well, okay, let's look up that playlist, I guess. That's really the only thing we have to look up. All right, I'm pretty excited about that playlist. We're gonna listen to it. I mean, that. Well, I am. You're not. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. There we go. That one looks really nice. Obviously, because it matches the theme. But hey, here's to a whole new year of Owl Crates. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You can find me on Twitch. Right now I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I might be changing that schedule soon. So I'll put the link to that below. Also my Instagram, where I usually post what book I'm reading. I think I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and maybe read a book. So now I want to read all the books so I can get the get the get the lore. All of my love to you guys. All of the Bruce's who stole my chair as soon as I stood up. Yep. Oh, Palmer's? Palmer the pooper? <laughs> and uh, y'all have a good one.